for you. Did your mama tell you what's good for you? The 1850s Aussie Gold Rush saw Chinese immigration numbers boom. Thousands settled here in search of their fortune. And with them came new traditions, new food, and mysterious medical practices. The best known of those practices makes a lot of us Westerners squirm. This is an acupuncture needle. Now, the Chinese have been using these for over 2,500 years to cure all nature of ills. But as a Western-trained medical doctor, it's difficult for me not to treat acupuncture with some scepticism. So tonight, I'm on a personal journey. I want to know if acupuncture really works. Plenty of Australians already think it does. One in seven doctors are using acupuncture now. So there's got to be something to it. But what? So what's the best way to put acupuncture to the test? Well, I get to volunteer myself, of course. And it's quite a nice coincidence because I've actually got a bit of a sporting injury that's flaring up at the moment with my left knee. It's mainly giving me trouble up and down the hills and also on the stairs. So let's put it to the test. It's a bit of a sprain that I'd normally treat with anti-inflammatories. Instead, I'm going to try acupuncture. But before I start that, I'll test how many stadium stairs I can run up before my dodgy knee tells me to stop. Yeah, so I've had to pull up there. It's uh, only about 40 stairs that I got through before the pain got too much. I just really want to get rid of it. It's quite disappointing, actually. So I'm interested to see, will acupuncture be the cure? Stephen, how are you? Well, thanks, Andrew. Now to the pointy end of proceedings. Acupuncturist Stephen Jantz has studied Eastern and Western medicine. He reckons acupuncture can heal all sorts of ailments, including my crook knee. OK, so Andrew, what we're going to do, we're going to pop a few points in through your knee here and a couple around it. And then we'll use just a one or two other points just for the whole general body balance. Um, help keep your body strong. I mean, if your body's working well, it's easier for it to, to heal the damaged knee. I'm also going to pop a point in your ear as well, which relates to the knee specifically. Needles in the ear? For my knee? What's all that about? According to Eastern beliefs, the human body has 365 acupuncture points that connect to different organs and to energy channels. In order to maintain overall health, these energy channels conduct the flow of an energy force called qi. But if the flow of qi becomes blocked at any point, the Chinese firmly believe that it will cause an ailment to occur. It seems absurd at pointing your ear for your knee. And so a big part of our role as practitioners is to help people understand the relationships in the body. It's not always as obvious as it hurts here, let's treat it here. And once someone's experienced it, you don't have to convince them about terribly much, terribly much at all. Yeah. Well, I'm happy to be convinced if it works. I don't love needles. But here goes, starting, thanks Steve, with that one in my ear. It's starting to feel like a bit of a pin cushion. As he inserts each needle, I can feel it go in, but it doesn't hurt one bit. It's quite amazing. It's kind of weird. It's feeling my whole knee is actually buzzing. It's this sensation that my knee's vibrating for some odd reason, which is kind of, it's kind of surprising. In theory, the needles are unblocking the energy flow around my knee, hence the buzz. And that tells us that the point is activated and that the energy is moving and we're, we're going to get the result we're looking for. To be honest, I'm a little more sceptical, but there's no point backing out now. And who knows, it might just work. I'm going to let you rest for 15 to 20 minutes now. We find acupuncture works best when, once the pins are in, let's have a little rest, let the energy move around the body and do its work. OK? Sounds good. Great. You might have your doubts about acupuncture, but there are plenty of people who trust it completely. In fact, it works so well for some that in China it's been used in surgery as an alternative to general anaesthetic. Does acupuncture work? 
I've just undergone my first session to help heal my knee injury. Acupuncturist Stephen Jantz says it's no miracle cure, so I'm going to need more sessions. It's going to take us probably half a dozen treatments to really make sure we get this sort of problem to the point where you're happy to run on it again. Hmm, five sessions to go. In the meantime, I'm going to dig a little deeper into this ancient Chinese practice. I want to know whether acupuncture is just the placebo effect or if there's actually physiological changes going on in my brain. So I've come to the Wesley Hospital in Queensland to meet with a scientist who's on the cutting edge of this research. Meet Dr Mark Strudwick. He's been researching acupuncture by using a magnetic resonance imaging machine to map pain responses in the brain. I'm going to put you in this big MRI machine here, mm -hmm. two and a half times stronger than the ones you find in X-ray departments. We're going to have a look at what happens in your brain when I put a needle in your hand. Yeah, I was up for the, the magnet, I wasn't up for the needle. Oh, this is, <laughs> this is acupuncture. It's all part of it, indeed. <laughs> But this ain't no acupuncture needle. It really hurts. Unfortunately, it needs to. Because what Mark's going to do is map exactly where in my brain I feel pain and how much. Those little hot spots in the brain are actually a part of the pain network called the insula. Now, the insula is involved in our emotional response to pain right. and in our anticipation of pain. Now, when Mark mapped the brains of patients undergoing acupuncture, he found their pain responses fell significantly. Now we have some hard evidence in the brain that the pain mechanism is being turned down by acupuncture. So that could explain why acupuncture works. It goes towards explaining it. We have a lot more research to do yet. Now, acupuncture isn't just about pain relief. Believers say it can heal the body, and Rosanna Buzas sure believes. At 34, she suffered early menopause and was told she couldn't have another baby. Initially, I, I sort of sought acupuncture out just to help me control the symptoms of menopause and um, explained to the acupuncturist exactly what my situation was. He never promised me that I would get pregnant, and, um, but he did say that I was very young and um, I was healthy otherwise, and if we could tone the body um, enough and my body was responsive to the treatments, there was a good possibility that I could get pregnant. Rosanna started a course of bi-weekly acupuncture treatments. And after three months of treatment, I was pregnant. Ooh, what have you got? And I had a beautiful baby girl. Sophia. <laughs> she was born on Christmas Day, so we always say that she was our miracle baby. Could you get me up? I think something as radical as, as getting pregnant when you're basically told your ovaries are not functioning and you're not going to get pregnant, um, I think there's more to it than just me believing that the treatment will work. Me? I don't know what to believe, but I've finished my six acupuncture sessions and it's time to test the old knee again. Last time, I only made it two-thirds of the way up. I'm running freely for the first time in two months. As a doctor, I had my doubts, but I just can't argue with this result. Well, that's a bit of a surprise. I didn't think I'd make it all the way to the top. Does acupuncture work? Well, it seems to have worked for me. My dodgy knee is much better, and I'm happy. Does that mean that acupuncture is going to work for you? Well, my advice would be, don't be afraid to try it. Did your mama tell you what's good for you? Western medicine likes to define exactly how things work, and they've tried very hard to come up with a scientific explanation for the effectiveness of acupuncture. It hasn't been easy, but we'll tell you a few of their theories after the break. Western scientists don't subscribe to the Chinese acupuncture theory of energy flows. Instead, some researchers suggest the needles stimulate the release of endorphins, the body's natural painkillers. Others say it affects the release of natural relaxants, like serotonin. And a third theory suggests it improves circulation by dilating blood vessels. 